It's before 8 in the morning, but the roads are already busy in Kandahar City. So is the Provincial Reconstruction Team's Training Centre, where members of Canada's civilian police contingent are working with the next generation of Afghan National Security Forces. Canada's officers here in Kandahar are drawn from municipal, regional, provincial and national forces back home. Canadians work closely with members of the U.S. police mentoring teams to ensure efforts are coordinated throughout the region. They get involved early as part of the Focus District Development Program, which is a special eight-week training initiative that starts with assessments of force numbers, leadership, and equipment shortages within a district. They work to build discipline and professionalism within the force. They also work with recent graduates of the program to ensure that the training is taking hold during the implementation, that the tools the police officers were given are being well utilized. We work in the same conditions they do, one officer tells me, early on a Tuesday morning during a bodyguard training program. It's a fair statement. They're out there in the same unair-conditioned room doing push-ups and going through course material just as the Afghan trainees are. A wide range of skills are covered. Public safety, community policing, bodyguard training, improvised explosive device awareness, and combat first aid. These courses were designed to respond to the needs Afghan police face in their day-to-day -day work. Their impact is tangible and immediate. The training draws on decades of community policing experience back home. Officers know that if the police are seen as a trustworthy force, then the people will look to the government to ensure their personal security and not turn to insurgents. Improving the image of the police in turn improves the government's image. Of course, it's not all guns and ammo here in Kandahar. Jeff Hirsch from Nova Scotia works closely with police commanders to ensure that inventories are well kept, that proper booking procedures are implemented, and that station chiefs, like the one you see here, are liaising in an effective way with their headquarters. You can see in this series of photographs trainers from the RCMP working with members of Police Substation 8 in Kandahar City. They start with classroom work, covering the theory and reflecting back on what they've learned in previous lessons. Then they move to drills and exercises outside the station, practicing snap roadblocks and vehicle inspections. Since 2005, Canada has provided more than 60 civilian police trainers and mentors to support Afghan national police reform at the national, regional and provincial levels in Afghanistan. Everyone out here recognizes that strengthening and professionalizing police forces takes time. The police are much further behind in terms of capacity building than the Afghan National Army and a number of challenges such as illiteracy and corruption will need to be addressed in due course. But progress is being made. Since 2005, when civilian police first started working in Kandahar, Canadians have contributed directly to the training of more than 650 officers. Canadians are making a positive difference in the lives of Afghans, with the hope of making communities safer and ultimately more prosperous. From the Provincial Reconstruction Team in Kandahar, this is Lucas Robinson. <laughs>